Another issue highlighted in the memo sent Tuesday, and again, I said, if you're just joining, that memo sent, to, sent Tuesday is the same memo that was sent to the participants months ago. So most of the memo is not new to the participants or the organizers or anything. But another issue is whether the tournament format of player era flies. And this is something I touched on weeks ago. The festival purports to be composed of two distinct four-team MTEs. And this became agreed upon last month, so, so in July. The two divisions, or MTEs, whatever you want to call them. Impact MTE and Power MTE. So that basically means the Cougs, Alabama, Rutgers are in Impact MTE, for example, in one of those two divisions. This latest structure would seem to address the NCAA's prohibition of two teams from the same conference simultaneously participating in the same MTE. This year's festival features two SEC schools, A&M and Alabama, and two from the Big Ten, Oregon and Rutgers. So it'll be divisions. It's going to be a classic. It's not going to be a tournament. So there won't be a quarterfinal, semifinals, and a championship. The teams in the Impact Division, they'll play three games. They'll play the other members of its division. So no more discussion about the teams. The winners will compete for a championship. No. So that part must squash the initial thought process of an extra million bucks going to the winner. That will only be a tournament. Well, it's not going to be a tournament. So just keep that in mind. I'm saying that to you as well. And then lastly, still, the NCAA's memo suggests that the event would require some interpretive generosity or a thick veil of ignorance to pass muster. Quote, even if the MTE is structured in such a way, divisions, brackets, in which two teams from the same conference will not play each other, two teams from the same conference may not participate in the same MTE, in quote, according to the NCAA. Meh. I think, I, personally, I think the NCAA is trying to poke a stick at a rebel organizer, a disruptor, trying to poke a stick at change that is inevitable. Because with realignment, you know, there is an issue. Initially, probably the initial thought of this Players' Era Festival, Oregon was still a member of the Pac-12. So they're not. They're now in the Big Ten. So why are the NCAA is trying to do this and the NCAA has lost so many lawsuits in court? As a media member, but also as a UH alum, I want to make sure UH and then the other schools who are part of the inaugural Players Era Festival get paid. That's what I want. I'm going to say this. There is a chance. I don't I'm not going to put a percentage on it. I don't know, you know, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, whatever. I don't know. But there is a chance that the Players Era Festival in Vegas, in Vegas, won't happen this year. All options are on the table the participants the participating schools may still play the three games as part of an mte it just might not be in las vegas it might be a neutral site somewhere else heck it might be different teams on a 
at home under a Players Era Festival umbrella. So it might not be in Vegas, but the matchup still might be part of the Players Era Festival just taking place somewhere else. Does that make sense, Rex32? And everybody watching on Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, of course, and on Roku via the BS3 network. So matchups will happen. Might just be different matchups. I don't believe Houston, Alabama won't happen. I believe it will happen. It just might not happen in Vegas. The organizers of the Players Era Festival, you know, there were questions about this when it was first announced. There are different questions about it now. Hopefully those questions are answered as soon as possible. So everyone can finalize their plans. All these participating schools have to finalize their schedules. Their fans have to finalize their plans. Networks have to finalize their plans. So hopefully this will all be resolved soon. And by soon, early September, something like that. So just keep that in mind. Yes, different contingencies have been discussed because, again, I think it's safe to, it's dangerous to assume, but the majority of these schools involved, this is not the first rodeo. So dealing with MTEs, dealing with new people, new organizers, you always got a plan for what if this doesn't happen. So if this doesn't happen, then can we do this, 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 this? Yes. So just keep that all in mind. And you're hearing this on the Houston Rounds Ball Review takeover of the lunch break. So, yes, I said it. Chris Gardner of the Houston Rounds Ball Review is adding that info regarding this inaugural 2024 Players Era Festival. It could still happen. I think it will happen. I'm just wondering if it, if, it, if it will happen in Vegas in said format. Because it's already changed to now divisions. 